Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the world of virtualization. In this tutorial, we will explain how to install KVM on RHL9 system. Whether you are setting up a test environment or exploring virtualization for the first time, the step-by-step -step tutorial has got you covered. Before diving into the steps, make sure you have the following things in place. Minimal install RHL9 with desktop environment, a sudo user with admin rights, local repository or Red Hat subscription. We need internet connectivity if you are using a Red Hat subscription. For the interest of time, I have already prepared a set of commands that I will use in this tutorial. I will share these commands in the description for your reference. I have already taken the SSH session of my RHL9 system. Let's get started. First thing first, we need to ensure our system supports virtualization. To verify this, we can run the command grep in double quotes type vmx and grab this vmx in proc cpu info file. If you see the output highlighting vmx, then it confirms that your cpu supports virtualization. If there is no output, you might need to enable the virtualization in your bio settings. If you are using AMD processor, you need to replace this VMX with SVM. As I am using Intel based processor, so this command is not giving any output. Alternate way to verify whether your CPU supports virtualization or not. We can run the command lscpu and then grep virtualization. In the output, you should see vt-x. It means we are using Intel based processor and virtualization technology is enabled. Before installing KVM, it is a good practice to update your system. For that, we can then the command sudo dnf update hyphen by. This command will install all the updates on your RHL9 system. Once the updates are complete, reboot your system using the command sudo is reboot. This ensures all the changes take effect. Once the system is back online after the reboot, we will install necessary virtualization packages like word hyphen install, word hyphen viewer, lib word, word hyphen manager, word hyphen top, lib guest fs hyphen tools. Copy this command word hyphen install. It is a command line tool for creating virtual machine. Word hyphen viewer. It's a lightweight interface for interacting with virtual machine. Libword. It's a virtualization daemon. Word hyphen manager is a graphical user interface for managing the virtual machines. Word hyphen top. It is a utility for monitoring the virtualization stats. Lib guest fs hyphen tools. This is used for accessing and modifying the VM disk images. Now hit enter. Next, start and enable the libvirt service to ensure it runs on the boot. Run the command sudo systemctl start libvirt. Hit enter. This will start the libvirt service. To enable the service, replace this start with enable keyword and hit enter. 
you confirm that libbody service is up and running run the command sudo systemctl status libbot this output confirms that libbody service is up and running next step is to configure a network bridge if you plan to access your virtual machines from the outside of your rhl9 system then you must configure the network bridge first we need to identify the primary interface which is configured on our rhl9 system for that we will be using nmcli command line utility its network manager command line utility which is used to configure the networking on rhl9 system let me clear the screen first run the command nmcli connection the output confirms that we have three different connections with the name enp0s3 loopback for lo and this virtual br0 and this is created automatically whenever we are installing kvm on any of the linux system all right so enp0 s3 is our primary interface which is currently configured on my system now i will create a new connection with the name kvm br0 i will be creating a kvm br0 interface under this same connection that is kvm br0 once the connection is created i will assign the same ip address which is currently assigned to our primary interface so in my case this is the IP address which is currently assigned to this ENP0S3. So I will assign this IP to my KVM BR0 bridge. And then I will assign the gateway IP address to this interface which is KVM BR0. Similarly, I will add the DNS IP. Post that, I will add this interface ENP0 in this bridge KVM BR0 as a slave. Copy this first command If you can see this is my primary interface and this is the IP address for this interface Let's create a new connection In the output, we can clearly see that a new connection with KVM PR0 is created successfully. If you rerun the command, you will see a new connection with the name KVM PR0, type of bridge, and the interface name is KVM PR0. Next, assign the static IP address to this bridge. This will assign the gateway IP address to the interface or the bridge KVM BR0. This command will add the DNS IP address. In our case, interface name is ENP0S3. All right. This command will add this interface ENP0S3 as a slave to this bridge KVMBR0. Hit enter. Next, we need to shut down the current connection and we need to bring up our KVMBR0 connection. For that, we will be executing these two commands in one go. So once I hit enter here, it will disconnect my SSH session. I have to reconnect it after a minute. Now try to SSH again with the same IP. If you type the command 
ip add space show you will see that a new bridge with the name kvmpr0 is active and the same ip which is assigned to this enp0 now is assigned to this kvmbr0 interface so overall we can say that kvmbr0 is my primary interface now next try to create and manage virtual machines using vault manager but before that make sure your user is added to the kvm and live vault group by doing so your local user will able to run all the vault command and can manage the virtual machines without sudo privileges to make these changes into the fact log out and log in again output confirms that my local user now is a part of livewort and kvm group now start the vort manager utility using the command vort hyphen manager now create a new virtual machine choose the first option local install media in my case i have already copied the iso file on my rhlan system click on forward click on browse i have placed this iso image under this location let's say i want to install ubuntu to so select the ubuntu iso file and click on forward now specify the resources like memory and cpu for your virtual machine and click on forward specify the disk for your virtual machine in my case i am giving it as 25 gb click on forward click on network selection make sure the device name is selected as kvm uh, br0 the bridge device that we have created in the previous step click on finish all right now follow the screen instructions and finish the os installation other alternative way to manage and create kvm vms is via cockpit console but cockpit console is not installed by default on rhlan system first we need to install cockpit and then cockpit hyphen machines cockpit hyphen machines package will allow us to manage the kvm vms from the cockpit console let's install both these packages first and the command sudo enf install cockpit and then cockpit hyphen machines now start the cockpit service verify its status all right the service is up and running next access the cockpit web console start the web browser type the ip address of your uh, primary interface of your rhlan system in my case the primary interface is kvmbr0 type the ip address here 192.168.1.8 followed by the port 9090 and hit enter click on advanced and accept the risk and continue because cockpit is using self signed certificate now specify your local user here and its password click on login all right now go to the virtual machine sections this is the vm that we have created using the vault manager 
currently the state is shut off now if you would like to create a new vm then click on this create vm specify the name of your vm let's say rhgl9 and then installation type is local install media specify the path of the iso file specify the disk that you would like to assign to this virtual machine in memory then click on create and run all right you can see the state has changed to running click on this vm and then click on expand you will get the console now follow the screen instructions and complete the installation of your RHA line system. That's all from this video tutorial. If you have found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe our channel for more tech tutorials like this. Hit the bell icon to stay updated. Feel free to post your questions and feedback in the below comment section. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.